this video, we're going to talk about graphing angles in standard position. It's a very easy concept. It's a great way to start looking at the building blocks of, of looking at the unit circle. Um, graphing angles in standard position is simply just graphing an angle within the Cartesian plane. We know that the Cartesian plane is one, two, three, four quadrants. All of those are the names of the specific quadrant that they are in. Um, and we are just going to be given an angle measurement and told to graph that specific angle measurement. So before we begin, a couple of the things that we need to know is that the Cartesian plane is going to be set up like this. We have 0 degrees and 360 degrees on the red line. That's our initial starting side. Starting there is obviously at 0 degrees. And then if we are moving counterclockwise, we are moving in the positive angle. So it goes up 90 degrees. And then we're at 180 degrees. And we're at 270 degrees. And then 360. And it will continue to go up from there. After 360, we're at 450 degrees. And then 540. So that's pretty easy um, for us to remember just because we have... Um, We've seen these angles before dealing with geometry. However, it may be the first time we've seen them in the actual coordinate plane. Now, if we are going through the negative angles, we still start here at zero. However, this is now going to be negative 360 because the negative numbers move this way. So this is negative 90 degrees. This is negative 180 degrees. And this is negative 270 degrees. All right, so negative numbers move clockwise, positive numbers move counterclockwise. All right, so next, um, again, we're going to be told to graph an angle uh, in standard position. We start on our positive x value side, and then we will move whatever direction they're telling us to go, whether positive or negative. We draw our angle where we estimate the angle that they're asking us to graph would be, maybe this was 135 degrees, it's positive, so I'm moving counterclockwise. I'm, I'm, I'm estimating that that would be the location for 135 degrees, okay? That finishing side right here, that is called my terminal side, um, and it's always denoted by where our angle ends up. I always draw this in, you need to have it there so you're telling me if you're going positive or if you're going negative. Otherwise, I won't know or your teacher won't know. So let's look at our first example. This example wants us to graph 185 degrees in standard position. So I know that this is 0 and 360 degrees. This is 90 degrees, 180 degrees. 270 degrees. I'm going positive, so I know I'm going this way. We're going counterclockwise, and I'm going to 185 degrees. Well, here is 180 degrees, so 185 is going to be slightly past that. I'm going to guess it's somewhere about right there. Now, I draw my arrow to say that I went counterclockwise all the way around to 185 degrees. And that's it. Just remember, we know we start here because that's our initial side. We ended here because that's our terminal side. And we went counterclockwise because we were positive. All right, really straightforward. Let's look at another one. This one's asking us to graph negative 230 degrees in standard position. So I start at zero degrees, all the way back around would be negative 360. I'm going negative, so I know I'm going this way. So this is going to be 90 degrees, 200 and, oops, I'm sorry, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then all the way around would be negative 360 degrees. Negative 230, obviously it's going to be in between negative 180 and 270 degrees. All of these are negative. I apologize for not putting those on there. So all the way, uh, I'm going to estimate to be about right here. 
and see now I have to tell did I go counterclockwise or did I go clockwise? Well, since it's negative, we are definitely going uh, clockwise. And that's it. That's our estimate for where negative 230 degrees is. So we'll get one more. This example wants us to graph 480 degrees in standard position. Well, it's positive, so we know we're going counterclockwise. This is zero and 360 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and all the way back around is 360. Now, we know as we keep going, this is 450 degrees after we've looped around one time and then this will be 540 degrees. So if I take my arrow and I go all the way around, that's 360 degrees. There's 450 degrees, 480 degrees. I'm gonna estimate to be somewhere right there. And that tells me right off the bat that I went all the way around uh, one time past 360 degrees, past 450 degrees, to estimate right here at 480 degrees. So I hope this video was pretty simple. Uh, introduction to graphing in standard position. Just remember, most important thing, always, always, always denote your terminal side, tell me where you're at, and tell us what direction that you went in. All right, thanks for checking out the video. I hope it helps. Check out more for uh, more on standard position, reference angles, and um, eventually getting into the unit circle. I'll see you guys next time.